esteem and respect it sri arvin kendrawal ji the honorable chief minister of um, delhi sri ram nivas goel honorable speaker sagi deputy speaker esteemed and reverend archbishop and bishop from the dais mr prasanna the secretary of this legislative assembly my dear sisters and brothers who are present for this wonderful celebration of uh, christmas in delhi first of all may i take this opportunity to congratulate uh, the government of delhi the chief minister and the deputy speaker in particular in daring to organize and taking the initiative to organize a celebration of this kind in the legislative assembly premises honestly i tell you i feel proud to be in delhi i feel proud to be an indian in delhi in participating in such a celebration after all our is is a secular country indian secularism does not mean that it is ours to any religion the beauty of indian secularism is that it welcomes all religions it's not against any religion it is not indifferent to religion it welcomes religions because india has always recognized the role of religion in grooming man in the development of man in making the better man in making a man a better human being this is what uh, mother teresa said in fact the chief minister was so recollecting that the best part of his life he, uh, he would like to recollect is a couple of months he spent in calcutta kalidas along with mother teresa sisters reporting every day at 5 o'clock and then uh, nursing the the, the sick the feeding them waiting them attending to their needs etc that we find life there we find meaning of life there and we enter into realization of nothingness in life and uh, india is a country which has given birth to great religions india is a country which has welcomed all non major religions in the world and that is the beauty of indian secularism and all religions have their own celebrations and the beauty of indian celebration of religious activities or religious holy days is that it is irrespective of any religion everybody every citizen of the country participates whether it is diwali whether it is ishta whether it is christmas whether it is onam for that matter because i come from kerala any celebration is a celebration of everybody and that is the beauty of indian fellowship that is the beauty of indian citizens it is the beauty of a uh, Uh, as as we have uh, referred to the plurality of uh, india the diversity of india what is india without this diversity what is india without this celebration what is india without this uh, multi cultural uh, interactions so i once again congratulate to the uh, the government of delhi in organizing such functions where people can come together celebrate together feel the oneness irrespective of the religion religion does not uh, bring about any barrier it does not build the barriers religion is actually meant to remove barriers and bring man together and the very meaning of assembly is where people meet irrespective of religion irrespective of politics irrespective of community so this is a real assembly now today people's assembly where in christmas we have gathered to celebrate uh, the wonderful celebration of the people i was chief justice in himachal i was just again neglecting those uh, three years where uh, the the number of christians are very 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 few marginally few but christmas is an occasion where the whole simla celebrates nobody bothers whether you are a christian or a muslim or you are a jain or you are a sikh it's a celebration of everybody and that is and that is the celebration 
of uh, all religions as far as India is concerned. So, let me wish you, so full of heart, forming the joy, a Merry Christmas to all of you, and in particular to the government of Delhi in uh, taking such a wonderful initiative. This is actually the birth of Christ. Christmas is the birth. Christmas marks the birth of Christ. And Christ was born to liberate man. On the birth of Christ, there was a singing. People who know by the faith and people who know Christ by history. But I am just trying to recollect both faith and history. It's actually joy to the whole world, irrespective of whether you believe in Christ as God or not. He has come to assure joy to all people, irrespective of your uh, status, irrespective of your community, irrespective of your religion, irrespective of your position, whatever it is, irrespective of your sex. So, and he also said, the peace will be to all people of good will. And who is a man of good will? The man who is able to see his brethren in his own, uh, what they call, his own nature. You are all created in the image of God. This is the fundamental principle that Jesus Christ wants to teach. And he taught this. Whether you have uh, uh, wealth, you have health, you have uh, riches, you have power, you have position, doesn't matter before God. All are children of God, you have the equal self. And that's the equality before law and the equal opportunity. And that's the beauty of uh, the uh, teaching of person. That's why in the India worship, traditionally, we say, Vasudeva Kudumbaga, Sarva Mara Sat Bhavana. These are all the, the basic uh, fundamental tenets of uh, the Indianness of uh, our country. So the Christ has assured joy to the world and peace to all the people of goodwill. And let me just remind the government of uh, Delhi that people of goodwill means people who believe in good governance. And if you are in good governance, you have always joy. And good governance is always caring for the least, the last and the lost. If you are able to care for the least, the last and the lost, there is good governance. Because others are able to govern themselves. The people who are not able to govern, people who are not able to enjoy justice, people who are not able to enjoy equality, people who are not able to enjoy freedom, are the people who are not able to come up and who is, there is nobody to stand up for them. The moment you stand up for those people, the moment you take good governance to those people, for their upliftment, to make them equal to us, to equal to everybody, and so that they also feel the dignity of a human being, the dignity and status of an Indian citizen, there is good governance. And I congratulate for all the good works that you do in giving this wonderful status of human being to everybody. And that is the face of Jesus Christ. Wish you all the best in life. Merry Christmas, joyous, happy and a prosperous New Year also. God bless you. Thank you. So thank you very much, Justice Kurin, for that very beautiful message. And we thank you for coming here and being a part of our today's celebration. I'm now going to request the Honorable Chief Guest himself, the Honorable Chief Minister Delhi, Sri Arvind.